What's up guys and welcome back here. We're back with another part of our Imperator Rome Macedon campaign. This is part 6, um, I believe, and we are carrying on from where we left off in part... Uh, s oh, I don't know, last part. I'm, yeah, we're on like part 6, 7, something like that, and this is like... Carrying on from that before, and we are um, against Phrygia in a war. They, we are defending in the war, them taking... Achaea, it's a part of Greece, it's like down here. So, um, yes, we are winning the war as we still hold Achaea. And we've won a few battles and we've lost a few um, ship battles. And as you can see here, we lost our navy. So that is not good, but we will reclaim our navy by building another one with lots of resources. But anyway, we are hopefully going to um, win this war very very soon. I'm keeping it at 4 speed. I would like to put it up to 5 speed because not much is going on apart from like a small engagement here but the game crashed on me once trying to do that so I'm not going to try and do that again. Not today anyway. So yes we will uh, defend rights. Accept that please. And um, we'll move this army to the east because just in case they go for military access through there we can then um, beat them back or if they land from this is like their nearest place to land then they can go in here and someone shouting outside so which is pretty very helpful no volume there is a there is a person in my uh, in my house that has no volume uh, can't control like the volume that he talks at. it's either loud or loud no in between <laughs> I mean there is no in between between loud and loud but you know what I mean. It is very, very annoying. But anyway, I uh, will go. We'll f talk about that another time. Well, uh, now we have to fight. We have wars with Phrygia to fight instead of talking about our wars with our flatmates. But anyway, we will build a few more Trimians here to help rebuild this fleet up. We need to get that back up to like 20, 25, just so we can have a good fleet so we can land. People. I'd like to land on Athens' shores. I'd like to actually be able to get a large enough navy to then compete with Fridge's navy. That's the that's the dream we are all waiting for. I also like to go to War Crete. I imagine they are actually they're actually not got any uh, they've not got any one defending them. So I might do that next. I might go for a war with Crete. If we can get a peace treaty with these guys, that would be great. I suggest. Yeah, I just want a white piece. So, anyway, we will wait. Doo -doo. I'm if it's if the um, war with Fridgey takes too long and like nothing's happening because nothing is happening right now. I will just do a cut and bring you back because I don't want to waste your guys' time on just um, on. I'm just waiting around, waiting for nothing to happen. Because look, this is just like this is like World War One, sort of level of just standing off, watching each other. But um, while while we're waiting, we'll quickly look at. Um, thank you, Brucey. I will have that. Um, Rome's doing okay. Lucania somehow got up here. I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to happen. That looks like the Samanite lands, and then Rome swung in here and taking a bit of land, and maybe the Samanites as well. Are they allied? Um, I'll have him flogged. Um, diplomacy, you are in a truce with them. Um, no, you can't have military access. Can we sue for peace? No, we can't. I've got no boats to hire. Brilliant. Could be just sat around for quite a while. So I will cut and then I will come back to you when the War of Phrygia is over. See you in a minute. Hi guys and welcome back. It was a very, very short cut. I am going to go for a small peace treaty and deal with Phrygia in another day. I can get their land on the Greek mainland and that's it. I, can't, I can take a little bit of Athens' land as well it looks like, but not much. Um, really to make it worth it. I will go for them another day. I am planning to make an offensive against Thrace first and Crete and then that will put me in good shape to take on Phrygia and hopefully by that time Phrygia might have broken up a little bit more. So anyway, we will accept this peace treaty 
and we will uh, carry on with our other wars. Other wars against uh, Macedon's enemies. So we will put you there, because I'd like to go to war with Ellis as well, because they are on the mainland. And we will help rebuild the navy. So we'll go for Blessings of Hades, get more tax in. And then we have a diplomat, oh, uh, we have a prisoner. I'm going to go for Siege Ability. Bring that in. And then we will, uh, we'll see what happens. If you don't want me to do cuts, please let me know. If you'd rather just see me plodding around doing uh, probably very little, then um, just say if you don't want it to be uncut. That's fine, I understand that. But um, I think for the majority of people, they'd rather see um, more interesting things in an episode than just literally just me waiting for Phrygia to accept a peace treaty because they're losing the war. Um, so yeah, we've ended that uh, conflict and now for the next one because we're looking fairly healthy. On troops. Ellis, who have you got as a... Oh, I've guaranteed these guys. I'm going to stop my guarantee for you then. I'm sorry. Also, I'm not sorry. Um, I don't think we have a... No. We just have a truce with them. It might be a matter of time just waiting for this navy to come up to strength. So I'm going to build about another load there. Hopefully that will do something. Also, who are Thrace? Still the Seleucids and Egypt. So that's actually even better. So Rodop would also be an option. I may send this army... Might send this army north. Help. Um, that campaign. And then these two can mop up Greece. And then we'll go for Crete. And do Argos like me enough to be integrated yet? Influence, side integration at 190. And they don't... Oh, no, don't cancel that. They don't like me enough for that. So, we will send a small gift. To help them like me a little bit more. Ransom prisoner. Do I have the money? I, I don't. I It's going to be like a lot of money before... We can uh, ransom that person, but I'm not quite sure who it is. And I'm also Pausanias Epelucid. Um, can we look at families? Sort by age, sort by health. Oh no, there's one here that characters. Oh no, yeah, show families. Epelucid. Oh, it's you, brother. Of the gen. He's like a nobody, really. I might let him die in Phrygia. What a bad way to go, but hey. That's how it goes sometimes, lad. Oh, we got a gift by someone, so we might actually um, just be able to do it that, that instead. Uh, I'll just go for that. I think I'd rather do rather get the loyalty than whatever the next one is. I'm going to buy some more Trimeres and build this navy up again. And then Ellis, can we declare? We could declare war on you. Fabricate a claim on troubling. No action will be taken. Okay. Take that, and then we get another large bit of land gone, and then we can control the Olympic Games as you do when you foreign claims have now claimed a large part of Hellas. It's clearly time to recruit a large army. Well, how big's Egypt's army? 87, 77. Might be right. Might be time to um, build a larger army. Um, I will give him a token sum. Yep. Okay, so Egypt has declared war on me. For stuff. Grain. Where can we get grain from? Mesopotamia. We can get it from a lot of places. I'm going to get it from there. I just, grain's always helpful to have. So you've got 15 boats. Not really enough pal to get across the seas. Um, you do have an army there though. And we could take Naxos then. So this will be interesting. And I might declare war on... Uh, no, we're a truce. How long are we in a truce till? 32, so 10 years. God blimey, it's going to be a long time. Um, so we may have a, a different war to deal with instead. Which is not great, but... I'll live with that. 
Um, and then I may bring the... I'll bring this navy round. And recruit some more boats. Keep this up to... Gains brain damage to end the current plot. Oh, my son can die? I don't know if I really want him to die. Wow. Okay, so my son's just like been bra like brain brain damaged. I'm pretty sure. Oh, it might not actually be the the primary air. It might just be a an air. Um, I might go for Egypt. Um, if I get the chance. Who would I rather send? You're very good. I think I'll send you. You're a searcher though. So you were quite good, but... Oh well. So you can... We'll take the uh, islands here. And then we will... Um, I still really would like to get this guy back. It sounds daft, but I would. It'd be 500... Jeez. I don't think I could ever afford to spend that on someone. I'm sorry. Uh, no, go up here, please. Thank you. Right, we'll deal with that. We now have a 30... So, okay, yeah, they've really pumped out the troops. So I don't think I could actually invade, land invade them right from sea because there's no way I could get enough troops there to then back it up. But I can just, again, I can... Um, take this land and then just destroy them. And they really like got really good siege ability. So I wonder if this my men will be enough. Their troops look a lot better as well. Annoyingly. Assault ability. I want fort defense. There we go. And this is an Egyptian island. I don't know what will happen here, but why not? We'll risk it. That's Fridge's land, so... Okay, so now we're waiting to take the Egyptian land. Oh, this is Egypt's as well. We could probably get that from Egypt. So I might get that as well. While we... 19,000 should be enough. Okay, so we've taken that. And we've captured him. Excellent, right. So we're going to take all the small islands around here that are owned by Egypt because that's all I can really do at this matter in time. Um, after that, we can see. It allows me to control more of the Aegean, I guess, but at the same time, I'd like to invade Egypt. Egypt would be good to get a good grain pot. Yeah, that's Phrygia as well. Well, Phrygia, it seems to own a lot of... Um, the islands around Naxos, and that would be handy to take them. Shame I couldn't get them in a peace deal, but I just wanted to get that war over and done with so we could get on with the episode. But we're looking very big now. We're looking very big. I could go for Abria if I wanted to. Maybe get some more. Uh, but then they're quite well defended by people. So, who knows. Thrace, I think, is definitely the, f the next option. Let's get you off this boat and send you back to... I don't know, we'll send you over here. And then just send you down here. Send some funds to rebuild. And um, we'll send some funds to rebuild. I think money is not really a problem at the moment. We're bringing in a lot of money ago. And fortunately we can't build any more stuff, but it'd be handy to. Okay, so civic advances. We've now getting better at that. 5% in all these places, then I don't know if I really want to actually occupy. Uh, no, it's kind of just a waste of manpower. You go back there. So we'll wait this out. See if we can get a peace treaty with Egypt. I imagine not again. No. But nearly there. We are nearly there. Okay, so it needs to go a little bit more in our favour, but then we can just, um, just take... I think we could just take that land, which would be good, because then we can get on again with another wars. Like, it's great fighting major powers, but when they're across a massive sea and, I mean, their navy's not great, but their army is really good. 
and that's gonna be 130 cohorts and I can only get 30 cohorts at a time over there I'm not really wanting to spend loads more money on a fleet when I've still not sorted out my um, territories um, nearby I want to keep my army also really really good that's where Macedon's strength is in its military uh, army in its military army wow well done there Pope good English uh, right so okay finally we might be able to so you give me that would you give me that as well no how long would it be for that oh no you would give me that now excellent would I get that Port of Delos so that's Phrygia so that doesn't actually matter okay yeah we'll do that then right wars over again Asia needs is <laughs> apparently that's enough for a, a guy there so right we've done that um, that's another another war over. No, Dardani, you can't have any stuff. So now we might be able to finally go to war with Thrace. Oh, Armisti. Def. Right. Wait a minute. Let's. So that would mean war with Egypt again. So we'd lose stability. Oh, I don't. That's annoying. Why is this happening in this order? So who could we go to war with instead? Could we go to war with you? Breaking truce with Arcania, no Cassus Belli. How long have we got truce with everyone around us then? Quite a while. Arcania and Ellison, one of the nearest. But Crete, oh of course we have a we can go to war with Crete. Interesting. Um I'd like to bring this army over here. And then put you there, and then we have a lot of armies in this area where we can then just jump straight off from and go for Crete. That is, that'll be perfect. I'm going to try and get by this guy back. So 600. No, I'm just going to get rid of that. I don't like having that pop up there. If, if he dies, he dies. Okay, you gained Oratory. Great, good for you. So how many troops do you have? Eight cohorts. Easy. We probably could have sent our small army, but I don't, how rich are they actually? Not rich at all. And they have good manpower though. Interesting. I'm going to do a strike force with the 15,000 and then we'll bring in the 25,000 as a... Um, like as a backup if needs be. But siege ladders... I'm going to go with discipline. I'm going to keep this up, the army um, building up because we're going on a lot of offensives and defensives right now. We really could do with more... Uh, just more military tech, I guess. So we'll declare war and take Crete. Take Crete. You have died. Oh, we've got quite a good guy to replace him. Excellent. Right, so we've now got the eight here. I wonder if that will increase anytime soon. But we'll send this guy back just so he's ready to go and replace any guys that die. Right, so you've taken that. Can you go there? No. Why can't you go there then? Oh, we've got to take this fortress first. Brilliant. Um, you get on there. Okay, they are building more armies. They're up to 13 now. So they would outnumber me if I didn't bring this army over, basically. They are, they are starting to build armies up big enough. Okay, someone's died. The, the guy that's about to come over. Why can't you? He's foreign. Knowledgeable. Okay, so we've got... F this is the problem. You get foreigners that can't command. Hippostrated. Right, can I find the Hippostrated family on here? Well, if we look at military, then we'll find them nice and quickly. Grand citizenship. There you go. Now you're in... Now you've got... Euripides can take command. Okay, we're landing. I have a feeling that's probably going to do a lot of damage. Oh no, no. That's very strange. It's like those oranges goes, ooh, you might not win this, but then you just stomp them. Just stomp them. Um, yeah, we'll go by boat and we'll just take this. Seems a bit strange, but we'll do it. Um, but yes, so we're going to take Crete in like no time at all, it seems. And let's go over here, deal with that. And then we are good to go on another expansion. Okay, so I think this small, like, state here, Illyria, is what's left of Tulantir. But I 
not sure, and I'm debating getting rid of it. It's very, very small and squalid. So you are... Where are you? Okay, you're there. You're there, and Mosaic. That'd be somewhere to nice to expand into, actually, Mosaic. So we could do that. Um, possibly. Yes, and then we are good to go on taking... I don't know if Rhodes is protected by... Frigid it is. Got to find a way into Frigia some way. Okay, so we've captured someone else. Okay, that's going to be an interesting fight. We might win this, we might not. We'll see. Elias wants trade. I'll give it trade for now. Oh, yes, we're going to win this by a lot. Thankfully, because of our military upgrades, we're going to win this by the looks of it. He says. And then it gets very, very close. Yeah, we won that. Just. And he's now going to retreat there and get crushed again. Excellent. So we will hold Crete. And I might put a... I might put a small garrison army here. Or I might just put a garrison fleet to defend it. I think I'll do the latter. Put a garrison fleet here and just... Um, battle should be enough to defend it against... Egypt would be, any, it would be the one that's going to come for Crete if anyone does. Yeah, have, you can have trade. Anyway, what's happening? Carthage is getting very big. I've, that seems to be always seems to be a pattern I see. Carthage gets big. Rome always seems to do average and, if anything, badly. Right, so 100%. Excellent. Right, just pause it quickly. We can just take that. Ah, sweet. Can we get any money? Because money could always be helpful. Yes, we can. There we go. Um, um I will go with bringing down the expansion. So we'll take back the large army first. And we'll land that. Um, I'll land that over here in Norcopolis. Oh, that's not got a port. Well, we'll just land it. Land it in Corinth then. Hmm. Oh no, land it up here. Land it up there. Military tradition, anyway. We'll do this while that's doing... Something. Okay, so we got given a gift. Excellent. So, so, to, so that experience, and then do we want to go down here? Yeah, it, yeah. I won't see why we wouldn't do the other one. Um, then we'll go with. Mm, but then I also like this tree. I might go with this tree for now. I think. Uh, recuperate our losses. We lose. Metron loses money, and he loses loyalty. Gains corruption. Um, loses that. Loses loyalty. Gains a lot of corruption. But I gain a lot of experience. And yeah, we'll go with tyranny um, for now. We'll do that. Therid goes in. I gain a lot of money from it. So that's always a good sign. We can then build a bit of a navy over here. Can we build a navy here? Yes. We'll build a one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. We'll bar build another. Did I just did I count out nine? And then I was about to say we'll get ten. One, two, three. Well, we can tell here. Yeah, I'm building. I'm not even building that many. I'm building eight. There we go. Ten. There we go. And this guy's died, so we need someone else that can. So we'll just pause quickly. Need to find another character. Um. Oh, you. Yeah, grand citizenship to you then. Um, you can become, excuse me, become my leader for here. How loyal are you? Oh, you're very loyal and you're not corrupt that much. Um, so now we'll go for, um, uh, could go for manpower. I think I might. Manpower is always handy. Always handy to have around. And then, the blessings of Hades. And then we will build some granaries in places like Pella and maybe uh, I could do the fortress, I mean we've got fortresses on most of these places, marketplaces always handy training camps there we go, that's enough money spent um, and then you can come back down to here for a war against Ellis and then we're good to go and then this guy is going up here to get ready for a war with Mosea or Abria, I think. 
Probably one of those two. So we will put you in port here. And the second navy is ready. And again, we have nobody that's any good. You. Grant you citizenship. We are running out of uh, nobles. That's the one. Who is my... I can't even remember. Yeah, Cassander, this guy. And then we're about to have another Philip. Then we've got another Cassander. His loyalty is okay, but I bet he doesn't like me. Um, won't like Philip when he comes to the throne. Which I'm sure soon. Which I am sure is soon. There we go. Got there eventually. Anyway, so if I declared war on these guys, that'd bring in them and them. So if we move the army up to here, the fort can take out these bits of land, and then we just take in Mosea. Then we don't need to worry about the rest. I don't. I'm just doing it just so I have a, another war, to basically fight, and gives more experience to my soldiers. I guess that gives me more land to uh, use. I don't know. Needs a governor, and we don't have one. So. We will put you, grant you citizenship, there you go, there we go, just some guy, we need more kids, need more kids, let us send him gold, who's this, a Bria, <laughs> I was, no, actually no I'm not having a war with the Bria, so that's, that would be okay, um, yeah go for it, we'll, we'll do that. Declare war. I have no castle spell eyes, so we can't do that. On Illyria Grecia. Excellent, right, so we've done that. The other army is going into position. Thrace looks like it's getting a fair army together. We still can't do anything because of our alliance, our truce with um, Greece. Not Greece, Egypt. Got there eventually. We are basically Greece, plus a few other bits. Argos, can we start integration? No, we can't, because for some reason, we've Andronicus. I don't know who I'd rather send. Probably you, Archibaeus. Um, I'm going to send a gift. I really want to just start integrating you, but... Oh, I should have gone for... I know which one I need to go for next. I need to go for a... Right, so we've just got a war there. Need to go for... There's a plus 20% uh, improvement uh, one. So, yeah. So, I need to go for that one. Uh, so, basically, it'll just make Argos like me more. Okay, so you're going to actually go and take that out. So... Oh, there's pirates down here. There's pirates, so we might... We'll pick up this army and we'll go and land it up north. And get them ready to fight each other. Better look I didn't actually see how many men Mosea has. It has a lot, so we should have probably put more in. But we won that battle anyway. Because we're so good. So we won that. And now they are pulling troops back by the looks of it. I might go for... Italy and take bits of it and just do my own thing at some point, but I'd really would like to start going east more. And Thrace is um and just in the way. It's just in the way. I really need my truce with we're victorious again. Excellent. Um truce with Egypt to end. All my other truces have ended. Excellent. Yes, and it's nearly over anyway. So there, we'll improve my ambassadors. So I can then improve my relations with... And we won that siege over here. So then, basically, so I can... Um, basically, so Argos will like me more. And I keep saying Argos, and I'm like... It's just the shop. <laughs> it's the shop, Argos. But it's not, unfortunately. Right, so we do that. They will like me more. 
Um, and then you just go to Neapolis because there's no need for you to actually just stay around here. And then we can take all of Mosea for absolutely nothing. So 20, they don't think, I don't think they can actually replenish their manpower. There is another, um, oh, oh, that's interesting. That's interesting, that's a big army. Um, Heraclean Path. Yeah, sure, we'll lose the uh, the money and or the religious power, and then we'll go and do that. Uh, national tax is looking good, so that's good. We are we're looking all very nice and healthy. Um, you can go over there, deal with that. We're not even actually getting as many ships. Oh no, we are. We are still getting ships. Um, don't worry, you just join him up in a minute. So we will. Um, fight this, this sea battle out. Okay, you just need to go and kill him, please. <laughs> um, right, so we, we are slowly winning this. Okay, and you won that. You just come back in here. Sweet, right, we won that. Oh, they're gonna win like a really. Wow, 4,000 are going to beat 10,000, apparently. That can't be true. Um, so anyway, you are now back over here. Excellent, right, you're done. And we're getting actually more boats. I didn't need more boats, but hey. I'll take the more, but I'll take more boats. Okay, no, they did lose. That's, that's good. I was thinking for a moment, that is absurd. And this is just like, lagging out like mad. Okay, so we killed another boat. You go up there and deal with that. I would like to see what we can get in the peace deal. I might just take this because it's a... Oh, we could take Sardika as well. I might just take that. Mosaic and live another day. And that... Well, being very nice. Right, so not Mosaic is not loyal. And it's not getting any more loyal. So we will sort that out in the next episode, I think, guys. Because there is um, about the half hour mark there. So we will call it a day on today's episode. If you've enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Um, it really helps. If you uh, want to see more, please let me know. Um, until next time, guys.